We just hope to move forward in this. Uh, I'm always here and this BC is open for business. I'm hoping that goes with, along with uh, you know the, the different corporations uh, that, that would welcome other businesses so that these guys are not a threat by any means. Um, it's just uh, one of those things that, one of those, some of those decisions that are made in boardrooms and policies that are made in boardrooms in these corporate offices doesn't always make sense out in the field. Uh, so I'm just hoping that uh, some of these corporations will come around and uh, will have some constructive uh, discussions and support. We don't recommend it. He said part of our tradition is we, we're trading people. Our ancestors always traded with one another. So Joe said we got to pick up BC's best wine from Ink and Eat Stellars. They're still out there some timber volume. We got some timber volume. Um, so this is an opportunity for us in the west boundary here to uh, meet all those involved in our project. Um, it's a chance for us to get together, express our appreciation for the work that's been done, the work that has yet to be done, and to celebrate the new hope that has been here today. So very Ben, we're known as a business first nation, and we love creating jobs and making money, and we love being involved with, with business people. So I was really glad to meet reps of the Boggan company a couple of months ago. They came to our band office in Oliver. And I'm always glad to be part of a project that involves our natural resources, especially in our in our traditional territory over here. We even had much of a presence, but from here on in the future, we hope to be involved with this and project. I'd like to introduce our forester, Joe McGinnis, who's going to bring some greetings in our o Okanagan language. Joe? Why are you in my language is saying, I'm just thanking the chief. And to you, I say, why you in I'm telling you, it's all good to see you here. And our again, it's good to gather, and it's a good place that we're going to have a good meeting here. Hopefully, we'll have a good, some good discussion down the road. Move that up a little bit. Well, Fed, thanks, Mayor and uh, Chief Louie. Thank you very much for the uh, for the gift, and uh, I can't turn around and say for your for your community, and and obviously by the turnout, this is uh, is. Great news for this community and a great day to, to be here. Everybody's worked very, very hard to uh, to get to this day, and I know that we're all going to be back here at uh, in, a, in a few months from now uh, and uh, celebrate again when the first uh, first logs start to go through the uh, through the mill here. Uh, there, it will be a unique model and something that I think we can all uh, all uh, look forward to. And it's going to be very very positive opportunities for uh, for the community. Uh, for the First Nations, for the logging industry, for woodlot owners uh, in the area, and I think this is a, a great day for the community. And what to say today? I was hoping that I would be here in a position to be able to uh, announce uh, approval of the uh, community forest application that you uh, that you have in uh, with from Midway. Uh, it's not quite there; it's making its way forward. Uh, and I want to say that I'm, I'm uh, looking, will be looking very much forward. Uh, to uh, to signing that agreement in the in the not too distant future to uh, to move forward on that community forest application that you have in which is part of the uh, of the mix of the uh, of uh, what you need here. To you know, it's all about you people. And and I look out here and yeah, I live in Ansuias, but I look out here and I play hockey with them and play baseball with them and coach their kids and you know it's it's all about community and it's all about partnerships and that's what this project is. Suez Indian Band, the province of British Columbia, the Boundary area, the people of Midway and area. That's what it's all about. And that's what we need to make sure that we keep doing it. Half of the regional district of you know, Boundary, I'd like to congratulate Midway Council, Greenwood Council, and Area E Director Bill Baird for working together and showing the way of a regional perspective. We always say you have to work regionally. And it's not just the West Boundary that will benefit from this project, but all of the Boundary area, from Christian Lake through to Carmine. Vaughan is Main Street. Midway is Main Street. The shared values that we have with Vaughan and Midway 
are phenomenal. And I think you're going to find that Bog and Piper Canada are going to be great stewards of this facility, great stewards of the mill, great stewards of the forestry, and you're going to see them as gardeners of this wonderful resource that we have. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Thompson uh, for coming today, and that's the garden. There's many like people to, to thank, care. but most importantly, we have to thank the tireless effort of your board of directors of Boundary Sawmill Inc. The history of this is a phenomenal story from 1943 to 2011, and we're just beginning to write the second chapter. So I'd like to thank Doug. Doug, just an amazing community member. We couldn't have done it without you. Reed Hedlund, Rick Hansen, George Delisle worked tirelessly on this project. And the team assembled, as you've seen today, has worked for all of you. So thank you for allowing me to work on this project for all of us. And finally, to the Boundary community, I look forward to continuing our work here. We have the vision, we have the skills, and now we have the momentum. Let's build a better future for the next generation. <laughs> the investors, the people that found the confidence in what we did, saw the foresight to see what we were going to do, and jumped in and supported what we were trying to do. I want to thank the Village of Midway, the City of Greenwood, and of course, RAE for jumping in and helping us as well. <laughs> okay, first off, Russ Boggan, Dwayne Boggan, Boggan Brothers Timber, Paulo Washington. critical and uh, I guarantee you we're 100% committed and you're going to get a lot of cooperation from us and our employees and our people but seeing your dedication here today means that we get your cooperation too so thank you very much. Be here, see the crowd today and know this mill's not going away because it was and there was people probably that wanted to see it go away but it doesn't need to go away. This is a fine community and there's a facility here that re needs a little retooling but that can happen but we call it down there, dealing with small logs fiber vision, is you go after the highest and best use of all the fiber of the forest. You know, it starts from the higher value, like ATCO would uh, process the peelers and the saw logs would go uh, to the other mills in the area. And even the wood waste would go to a Vista or Selgar to make power. And then of course your pulp chips. And you, you got to get all that value to have a complete uh, utilization of value to keep uh, these organizations and areas going like they this one and this is longer than what we want to so as we open up these stands and can rehabilitate for forest health some of the dog hair there's going to be some other logs that they want so there's going to be some trading going back and forth and that's what we've done in call the last 20 years if we had stayed with the same model that everybody runs the same type of mill same type of log uh, Everybody beat, bids against each other, beats them up, and people go out of business. In the U.S. since 1970, 900 mills have been reduced to 100 mills. And we got to stop doing that. we got to make things work. So. With the champagne and the cheers, it got me thinking enough. I wanted to say cheers and finish, which is keepies. And the reason I say that is because there's another family company that many of you will never, ever know of that... Uh, has helped us start this vision of small logs, and that's that's the Basto Corporation, which manufactures hue saws. And we're going to put a hue saw in here that's going to utilize small logs at a very efficient rate, uh, unlike what a lot of people and have ever seen. We're very excited to do that. It's going to take a lot of work, and as my dad alluded to, we'll need some patience. We know a lot of people have been excited and put in applications, and but you got to walk before we can run. We're going to definitely have uh, a lot of walking to do before we're running. Um, 